1856, somewhere in the Austrian Empire, modern-day Croatia. A thunderstorm rages. A baby is born. The midwife gasps. He was born during a storm. That's a bad omen. Tesla's mom replies, No, it's a sign of lightning and patents. And she was right. As a child, Nikola stunned everyone. He could recite books by heart, solve equations in his head, and mentally build machines in full detail. Basically a walking 3D printer before printers existed. While other kids played soccer, Tesla played, imagine how an electromagnetic generator would work in a vacuum. When Tesla arrived in America, Thomas Edison gave him a job. Tesla, Mr. Edison AC, alternating current, is the future. Edison, AC, over my dead light bulb. Tesla wanted a scientific debate. Edison went full drama. He electrocuted animals in public to show how dangerous AC was. Tesla's response? He built a hydroelectric plant on Niagara Falls. Like, you fry cats, I light up cities. Niagara glowed. People gasped. Edison quietly unscrewed his bulb. Inventions ahead of their time. Tesla invented, or predicted, wireless communication. Yes, radio was kind of his. Remote control, lasers, and basically, Wi-Fi. Before plugs were even a thing, he talked about beaming energy through the air, built towers and coils. Neighbors complained, Nicola, our mustaches are standing on end. And that includes grandma's. In his later years, Tesla got eccentric, slept only two hours a day, hated pearls and human hair, obsessed over the number three, washed his hands exactly 18 times before meals, and fell in love with a pigeon. Seriously, he once said, this white pigeon was the love of my life. When she died, I saw a light brighter than lightning. Maybe that was just the Tesla coil sparking again? Tesla died alone in a New York hotel room. Broke. His ideas were too advanced. While others cashed in, he dreamed of free electricity for all. After his death, the FBI seized all his papers. What was in them? Plans for Wi-Fi 10.0? A death ray, the original iPhone? We'll never know. Nikola Tesla didn't chase money, applause, or stock options. He chased lightning, whispered to machines, and dreamed of a world where energy flew through the air like music. Today, his name powers electric cars, his coils spark science fairs, and his legacy. So next time your Wi-Fi works, your phone charges, or a light flickers on, thank the man who once lit Niagara Falls just to prove a point.